Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this eerie Halloween tutorial. So I was inspired by I Love Your Nails from Instagram. Um, she's somebody that I followed for ages and I really like all of her stuff. But she recently did um, a couple of Halloween nails and I just really liked them. So these are sort of inspired um, by some nails that she did. Obviously I'm going to be stamping today um but if you want to find out how i created these eerie graveyard nails then just stay tuned so for my base color today i'm going to be using black so i've got opi gel color in lincoln park after dark then i'm also going to be using gelish in arctic freeze which is a bright white you're going to need a um foundation sponge something like this and we're going to rip it up so like mine it can be quite old for stamping polish today i'm going to be using nail stamping queen uk in black i'm then going to be using my she sells seashells extra large clear jelly stamper and the scraper that came with it then for stamping plate today i've got dixie plates dp05 and we're going to be using this sort of image down here Unfortunately, this was a limited edition stamping plate and it is now all sold out. So I'm really sorry if you didn't manage to get one of these, they are now unavailable. Also for this tutorial, I'm going to use Uber Chic Halloween 02 and I'm just going to use this tiny little image here. So the first step is to paint your nails with two layers of the black gel polish, which I have done, curing in between each layer. So... This is now the step where we're going to start adding um, different bits. So, like I said earlier, you need a foundation sponge. So it can be quite an old one like this where you've used it a few times because all we're going to do is just tear it straight in the middle so that you get sort of two separate halves like this and it's all a bit sort of jagged. You don't want to cut it. So... Just going to use this half then we're going to get our white gel polish and i'm just going to paint a little bit of a blob at the top like that so i'll just show you on my thumb to start off with so we're just then going to start dabbing this on to the tips so and you need to think about how far you want to go up the nail so obviously if you see from my other hand um i've sort of gone up maybe what two thirds no about half i'd say so then if we just use the other side of the sponge that's not got any gel on it just to kind of get rid of some of the white so we're just going to do that on all of the nails and we're just really lightly sponging on this white as well you don't want big white tips so and you can just add a little bit more when you need to so and obviously you don't need a lot of the white either so we're just taking it up the nail and each nail can be a bit different as well so you don't have to worry about it all being the same like that so I'm now going to cure this in my lamp okay so those have now been cured so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to top coat all of the nails and you'll notice I do this in a lot of my stamping videos where I'm using black or dark gel polish. And the reason that I top coat is basically because when you wipe off the inhibition layer, the black can sometimes spread or come off, things like that. And obviously we don't really want that to happen to the white. So I just top coat just to secure all of that colour in. Then once I've top coated, I'm then going to um, cure in my lamp, wipe off the inhibition layer and then I'm just going to buff the top coat shine off um, using just a buffer file. I have got other videos where I show doing this, I'll leave links down below for you. So yeah, just going to cure this in my lamp, wipe off the inhibition layer, 
buff the top coat and then I'll be back. So the nails are now already to be stamped on top of. I've cleaned my plate with pure acetone. So I'm gonna get my black stamping polish. And I'm just gonna put it along there. So, and we just want to position it at the bottom where the white is and you can just sort of continue to do it up the nail, although that bit's not going to be seen. We just want this bottom nail bit showing. So, and each time we do it, we just want to move the image along slightly so that we get a different part of the image on each nail. So then for the um, middle finger, we want to add the um, something wicked comes this way. So again, I'm just gonna add my black polish. So, and we just want to position this right down the bottom where that white bit is so that we can just about see the writing. Then we're just going to go back to the Dixie Plates plate and I'm just going to use the end bit here for the index finger. want to add that bit in so and then for the thumb I'm just going to go back to the sort of graveyardy section to put onto the thumb Like that. So now I'm going to top coat these nails twice, curing between each layer, then I'm going to wipe off the inhibition layer and then I'll be back with you. So and here is the finished result. So I just thought that this is something quite different for me. Um, it's quite an eerie looking um, supernatural type look. Um, but I really, I really liked it and I really enjoyed doing it as well because it was a bit of a challenge for me even though it's something quite simple because it's not my normal sort of look it was a bit of a challenge for me so I hope that you liked watching this tutorial guys please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon bye